Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Mods. I'm on this kick of raising and rearing butterfly and moth species from the Florida Keys, and it's never gonna stop. It's a passion of mine. We've got a lot of videos on the life cycles of butterflies and moths from South Florida and the Florida Keys. Uh, just here, it was just moth week. We went down, my buddy Ricky and I went down on a nighttime journey collecting moths and butterflies and We've got a ton of videos just from one night. Moth Week 2022 was awesome. One night, it was Ju July 22nd. The new moon, I believe, was is on the 28th of the month. So we were a few days early. 22nd? 24th. 24th, sorry, July 24th, um, 2022 was awesome. The new moon was on the 28th. We put lights out. Uh, there was still a little bit of a moon out there, but um, we found a ton of moths. And so we got a lot of videos out there on the findings of just one night out. And it was a full night, guys. All night long, didn't sleep at all. A little crazy, but we, we did it and we had a great time. And now we've got some stuff. We went on a, a caterpillar hunt with a UV light. Guys, one of the best ways to search for caterpillars is actually at night. You get one of these UV flashlights, and here's a clip of us finding some of these caterpillars. Yeah, 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 that's definitely, we definitely got our first caterpillar up here, guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, so here, grab the light, grab the light. Okay. And then what I'll do is I will bend the tree down. But I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, wait, find them. Find them first. Yeah, I lost it. Huh. Oh, I'll be there. I see you it. see him? Yeah. A little bit more. I oh, got it. Uh, I think it's an aloe. All right. No, it's not aloe. Let's it's see. It's a pink moth, but I don't know which one. Let's see, guys. That's not poison uh, wood? It's not poison wood. Come hmm. on. What is that? Guys, I really it's don't... An it's an aloe. It's probably aloe. Yeah, I see the... Yeah, the Elo, the Elo's got the little Cyclops thing eye spot on the top, but you can see how they they just light up green. Well, uh, and and Elo's that size, it shouldn't have the horn, right? No, the the smaller instars have the horn. That's why the horn it still has yep, the horn. He's still he's still on a he's still got another instar to go. Oh, okay. Look at the blue butterfly that just landed on me. <laughs> Look at yeah. this! Look at this butterfly! Yep. They weren't maybe. So, the guys, um, see how they glow. They do glow. So cool. They do glow. And that was, he was way up there. And we found him really, really easy with the UV light. Look how he just lights up. He's got like a two-tone purple and purple and green. Okay, so what do you think? We should probably let him go, huh? He's a little bit small. What do you think? I don't know. If, do you think we, we would... Uh, I don't have this plant. The one that I have, what is it called? The, um, the Christmas plants, I forgot. Poinsettia? Poinsettia. I don't know if they switch. Hmm. Look how cool he is. He's got the little Cyclops eye on his upper yeah. thorax. Let's do it. And what we can do is I can take another snip. Where's that tree? Yeah, okay. Okay, Sphinx Moth Caterpillar number one in the pot. You get one of these UV flashlights and you go around at night and actually the, the, the caterpillar glows green like they they light up green like christmas morning all right and so it's actually easier to find caterpillars at night with a uv light than it is in the daytime because in the daytime they they camouflage they blend in with their environment and it's very difficult to find them um there's ways to you know you look for chew marks on the leaves or you look for the frass pellets on the ground and you can find them but it's a lot easier to go at night with the uv light a lot of caterpillar species, they light up green. So we showed you when we found the Elo Sphinx. Now I wanna show you what the caterpillar looks like in the daylight. Um, I'm gonna open this guy up right now. I've actually got two different species that I'm rearing in the same container, which is usually a no-no. I typically don't do that, but I didn't have any extra containers. So I'm gonna take this guy out and I'm going to show you what we have in here. Let me go and grab my camera. 
Okay. Now, in another video, we showed you some of these tussock moth caterpillars that feed on the Florida trema. These things were actually everywhere. There were, there were hundreds of them. We, we just took three just to do a video on the life cycle. But um, guys, this right here is the caterpillar of interest. I believe, I believe that this is an Ello Sphinx. In fact, let me put this up here. I'm gonna try and show you with some good lighting what an Ello Sphinx caterpillar looks like. Now, here's an Ello Sphinx caterpillar, guys. In fact, he is about to molt because you see the little tiny head capsule there on the front? You can actually see the big head capsule right behind it, ready to shed his skin, ready to molt, and probably in the next couple hours, this thing will molt into final instar. All right, so the younger Aranus Ello caterpillars, like any other sphinx, has a nice little horn there on the back. A lot of sphinx moth larvae have that really cool little horn. Um, the full grown caterpillars actually don't have that horn. And so when this guy molts, and I will be certain to show you the video, of when this dude molts into final instar. I'll show you that this little horn right here, which is actually, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sting. It's just a, let me see. It doesn't sting at all. It's just a fleshy appendage right here. Okay. You can see, I can actually kind of poke it around a little bit, but uh, that little fake little horn there will be lost in the final instar. So uh, this tree, to be honest with you, I don't know what this tree is. So I actually have to um, send a, an image of this plant down to uh, some of the, the plant experts down there in the Florida Keys so you can tell me what this plant is. Now, the Ello Sphinx, guys, the Ello Sphinx is actually polyphagous, which means it will eat a large, a large amount of different types of plants. And, you know, we find them probably most commonly on things in the Euphorbaceae family. Uh, Euphorbs are plants with the milky poisonous sap, uh, things like poinsettias. Uh, we find them on ficus. We find them on... Oh uh, gosh, what's what else? Um, papaya trees. They love papaya trees, and they're they're actually a, a pretty larva. They've got this kind of like two tone thing going on. Very beautiful larva, and um, the, probably the coolest thing about an Ello Sphinx caterpillar is on the thorax. It's got a segment right behind the head. I don't want to disturb it too much because it's about to molt. But let's see. Oh, there it is. It's the Cyclops. It's got a fake eye on this segment behind the head. And you can see that the, the caterpillar is about to molt, so it's probably trying to just chill and I'm messing with it a little more than I ought to right now. But if this caterpillar were walking around and feeding, what'll happen is that it'll expose that little cyclops little eye. Oh, there it goes. It actually looks like an eye. And the whole purpose of that is to try and scare away a would be predator that might try to eat it. Are you going to show it to me or not? And guys, it is absolutely not a real eye. So if anybody um, comments down below, it's not a real eye. It's because you didn't watch the video. Um, and so, yeah, he's not gonna, it, oh, is he gonna open up? He just wants me to leave him alone. All right, guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave this guy alone because I don't want him to die. And I'm going to, 
show you when he molts into his final instar, I will show you the Cyclops eye of the Elo Sphinx Caterpillar. So guys, hope you liked the video. I'm not gonna mess with them anymore. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, you know, it, it helps our channel when you like and comment. So uh, please do so. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and get us some big, fat, green worms. Take care now, guys.